Just got dropped off in Vallecitos. Watch the car drive away. I won't see it again for three days. Ready to get up there. I guess you guys will see this when I'm back in Mendoza. Just got to the top of Lomas Blancas. View's pretty nice. Just check out how quiet it is up here. The objectives for tomorrow. San Bernardo on the left, Amalzi on the right. You can't really see because of the shadows, but this looks pretty impassable from this side. Looks like you'd kill yourself with a rock fall or something. Out in the distance you see an unnamed Down there, that unnamed glacier, that's at the base of the Cerro Agustin Alvarez. And just to the left is Pico Benai and the Cerro Colorado. Uh, don't think I'm going to get as far in as uh, those guys, but it looked pretty nice. Last update from the top of Lomas Blancas. Out there in the distance is a crazy objective maybe two days from now. The coal up in the clouds is between Pico Vallecitos and Cerro Plata, and you can see Aconcagua from there. But that's at 5,000. I was a little tired, so I slept in. Got 10 hours of sleep. All that traveling finally caught up to me. Now it's breakfast time. Problem solving 101. This is San Bernardo. My plan was to go and climb around the end of that terminal moraine there, but I see switchbacks right around there. So I'm gonna give those a shot. See how it goes. Probably for the best, they didn't go up that moraine. It looks like the stream I would follow turns into a pretty big waterfall at some point. So now I just gotta climb up that. It's the summit of San Bernardo. You might be able to see uh, the summit cross. Down there is the best news I had all day. Some snow, I can make some water there. And uh, this is the rest of the range. Hey guys, here I am on San Bernardo with the summer cross. You can see uh, down there is uh, Lomas Blancas where I was yesterday. And that's where I want to go tomorrow. I'm not going to Mousy, it's a little bit too far today. Time to rest. Hey guys, I got through that uh, tough part, that chassis steep uh, section. Would have wanted a helmet for that, but whatever, made some good decisions. Now stretch, just gotta get to the tent out there. Take an hour, won't be soon enough. What a day, it was just full of chaos and heat. I'm ready to go and do something different tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll start from Las Vegas, follow that black trail, past these glaciers, up to Pico Vallecitos, maybe. Probably won't make the top. Hopefully I get to that coal at 5175 meters. See you, I can cock with it. It's uh, 1018 on my second night out. It's taken me about an hour and a half to eat my dinner because I've got the uh, high altitude lack of appetite hanging in. And it looks like it might rain, so this could be an interesting night. Let's hope things get better. Oh, what a difference a good night's sleep can make. It didn't rain last night. Uh, got over the altitude symptoms. Never really finished dinner, but it's okay. I'm gonna head up. Looks gorgeous. And this is uh, this is one of the reasons why you do it. I believe these are wild horses. When they step, I don't see shoes on them. So, and now I get to go up that big hill. Sweet. This is death positive here. All of it probably, but the rate boost. Going and going. So, going to do another thousand. Over there, it's Glacier Stepanek. There's horizontal cracks in the top middle of the glacier. Those are called the Bergschrund. That's uh, the, where the glacier is literally getting ripped away from the mountain. And then past Glacier Oyada, and up in the clouds, somewhere 20,000 feet up, is uh, Cerro Plata. That's what I'll climb in a week. Wish me luck. El Salto de la Agua, the leap of the water. That's how this camp got its name. This nice waterfall here. Just keeps going and going and going. Today was a much better day than yesterday. I scattered out the route for when I go to Cerro Plata in about a week. Talked to some folks that verified that there was some rain and snow up, up uh, top, which uh, kept them from summiting, which is a problem because my tent isn't waterproof, so it didn't get any.
this high altitude lake at sunset about 8 39 o'clock i'll be waking up at 1 or 2 a.m to get on the road to the summit hopefully it'll be a successful day tomorrow welcome to sunrise at 14,000 feet i'm climbing strong got a little off route about a half an hour ago down the trail again and the rest of the ray looks uh, pretty straightforward hey folks after seven and a half hours of climbing i made it to the top it took a little while longer than i wanted to because of some ground fighting challenges but i'm happy i made it the view up here is tremendous second time i'm in chile two, both times on top of volcanoes well i did it now i just got to deal with the consequences i got to get my body ready to do it all over again in a couple of days go to Cerro Plata, 19,500 feet. After that, I should be acclimated for Aconcagua. Well, at least that's the theory. Right now I'm about to get enveloped in fog. I think this is gonna bring some rain. The temperature just dropped about five or ten degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, so uh, we'll see what happens. I've been climbing fast all day. Got above the clouds, so I'm out of uh, danger of rain for the moment. And just have to get up there on top of that little ledge. That's well camp. You might be able to see here some interesting atmospheric phenomena. There's a big wind shear here. These clouds below me are headed west towards me, whereas the clouds above are drifting to the right, which is east. So there's a 180 degree wind shear. Campamento still today. It's pretty busy today because the weather's good. The good tent spots are taken, but I found one that's pretty protected from the wind and uh, now to settle in. All right. I'm getting a bit of a late start today. It's uh, 6 a.m. Um, there's a big windstorm last night. I couldn't get any sleep, and just this while I wasn't climbing through it. And uh, now I'm trying to scarf down ramen to get going. It's the only thing I have left to do. Uh, God, I love my life. I've been climbing for an hour. I'm at 15.4 uh, or so. Climbing faster than a thousand feet an hour. This is familiar to you. I'm back at La Ollada, and I gotta go up there to that ridge, the coal there, at 1,600 feet above me. So that's what I just climbed up. You might be able to see some tents all the way down that end of the valley. Here is uh, some of the Cordona Plata. And there in the distance is Aconcagua. Finally I see it. The Stone Sentinel. That's all I'll be in less than a week. Just past 19,000 feet. This is sort of what walking looks like. About two breaths per step. some shots from the summit out there in the distance is Tupangato. Over there to my right is Aconcagua, somewhere in between is Chile. And uh, yeah, here's a pretty good drop. Here's a better view of said drop. You get the whole perspective of the valley and the clouds encroaching on it. Somewhere out there in the distance is uh, Mendoza. I watched the thunderstorm over it the better part of last night in Port Portarios, the dam that gives Mendoza its this here is a Argentinian army helicopter that uh, landed here and then couldn't take off again. Stuck in the snow forever. Yeah, it's kind of far up here. Kind of cool. The moon's risen. I'm making dinner. I got a roaring uh, stream next to me. Life's good. Two days in Mendoza and then off to Aconcagua. Heck yeah. This is never, ever how you want to start your day. Oh God. I'm all packed up. This was my campsite. And uh, that's what about uh, 55, 60 pounds of climbing gear looks like. Only uh, 4,500 feet to descend. And then back to Mendoza.